This here is the giant panda. Scientific name: a Luopuda Menelano Luca. Its family is Thursday Day, and it's so cute. Known for its 99% bamboo diet, it is actually a carnivore. Though it mainly feeds on plants, it sometimes feeds on small rodents and musk deer fawn. That is not highly recommended. As you can see, it's not as type of num-nums. Giant pandas live in a few mountain ranges in central China, in Sichuan, Shanxi, and Gansu provinces. They once lived in lowland areas, but farming, forest clearing, and other development now restrict giant pandas to the mountains. Don't worry, this is just a simulation. It's not really their home. It'd be kind of depressing if it was. Giant pandas live in broad leaf in coniferous forests with a dense understory of bamboo at elevations between 5,000 and 10,000 feet. Torrential rains or dense mist throughout the air characterizes these forests, often shrouded in heavy clouds. Again, simulation. Don't take this too seriously. About the size of an American black bear, giant pandas stand between two and three feet tall at the shoulder on all four legs and reach four to six feet long. Males are larger than females, weighing up to 250 pounds in the wild. Females rarely reach 220 pounds. The giant panda, a black and white bear, has the, a body typical of bears. It has black fur on ears, eye patches, muzzle, legs, and shoulders. The rest of the animal's coat is white. Although scientists do not know why these unusual bears are black and white, some speculate that the bold coloring provides effective camouflage into their shade dappled snowy and rocky surroundings. The panda's thick woolly coat keeps it warm in the cool forests of its habitat. Giant pandas have large molar teeth and strong jaw muscles for crushing through tough bamboo. Many people find these chunky, lumbering animals to be cute, but giant pandas can be as dangerous as any other bear. A wild panda spends much of its day resting, feeding, and seeking food. Unlike other bears from temperate climates, giant pandas do not hibernate. Until recently, scientists thought giant pandas spent most of their lives alone, with males and females feeding only during the breeding season. Recent studies paint a different picture in which small groups of pandas share a large territory and sometimes meet outside the breeding season. Much remains to be learned about the secret lives of these elusive animals, and every new discovery helps scientists in their battle to save this species. Two interesting facts that I learned about the giant panda is that at birth, a newborn cub weighs three to five ounces and is about the size of a stick of butter. The second is that most of what the panda eats is passed through the digestive system quickly before it having a carnivore system. So it must eat 20 to 40 pounds of bamboo each day to get its daily nutrients and veggies. Thank you for listening. This is Mental Meep, and this is my report on the panda.